Hello YouTube, this is Mr. Grace Deacon. I am back. This will be Doki Doki Part 6. Part 5 will go up ne uh, tomorrow. So, I'm recording this be the day before, the night before Doki Doki Part 5 comes out. So, I'm probably going to get at least Part 6 and 7 recorded. Uh, I got a day or two of relaxation. So... <sighs> Okay, we're giving the poem to Sorry first. Because she's the go-to girl for us. Deacon, I really love your poems. I can't believe you you have been hiding these from me. Huh? I'm not hiding anything. But, the poems are so good. Yesterday, and this one's too. You can't tell me you haven't done this before. I mean, you are really the only one who feels that way, so... Eh? No way. Not even Natsuki? Well, I guess Natsuki is the least li likely to admit how she likes something. I don't think that's it. It's... it's that. What do you mean? Well, I guess I'll be honest about it. It's a lot easier to write poems when I'm thinking about you. Eh? What? What? Stop thinking weird things at you. I just mean that you're a really expressive person, I guess. How am I supposed to write poems about my stupid life? My own stupid life. But you not somehow make everything in, in your life an adventure. Even the little things. Like cookie? Like cooking? Let's not talk about that. He he he. So yeah, I guess what I'm, try I'm trying to say is that I can feel more feelings through you than I can through myself. We have that kind of weird connection. It's your fault for getting in my business all the time. Eh? I don't know if I understand. <sighs> you never understand when I try to explain things to you, do you, Sorori? Pat Sorori's head. Uh, uh. Hey, I'm not a kid, you know. Are you sure about that? Hmm, maybe. Sorry, starts fiddling with her pencil pencil between her hands. Hey, Deacon, will you give me your poem? I kind of want to keep it. Huh? Why? Because, well, it's the first time you have written something for me. Sorry, you completely misunderstood. I didn't write this for you. <laughs> Are you even listening anymore? Well, whatever. I'll give it to you when we go home. Really? Snap. Ah. Broke my pencil. Sorry, hastily bends down to pick up the piece she dropped. But being atten inattentive of her surroundings, she bumps right into me. Sorry. It's fine, it's fine. I'll get it for you. I bend down and pick up the broken pencil. Sorry crunches, clenches the desk beside her to sport herself, knees shaking. I'm a little clumsy today. <laughs> Let's sit down, Sorry. Yeah. I grab Sorry's arm and help her sit at the desk. Anyway, I still haven't read your poem. Oh. Sorry, I forgot that about that. But it's not as good as yours. Jeez, don't worry. I'm sure I'll like it. I pop off... Okay, bottles. I pop off my scalp like the lid of a cookie jar. It's a little secret place where I keep all my dreams. Little balls of sunshine are rubbing together like a bunch of kittens. I reach inside with my thumb and forefinger and pluck one out. It's warm and tingly, but there's no time to waste. I put it in a bottle to keep it safe, and I put the bottle, bottle on the shelf with all the other bottles. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts in bottles. All in a row, my collection makes me 
lots of friends. Each bow a starline starlight to make amends. Sometimes my friend feels a certain way. Down comes a bow to save the day. Wow, this is a long one. Night after night, more dreams. Friends after friends. Friend after friend, more bottles. Deeper and deeper my fingers go, like exploring a dark cave, discovering the secrets hidden in the nooks and crannies. Digging and digging, scraping and scraping. Blow dust off bow caps, it doesn't feel like time elapsed. My empty shelf could use some more. My friends look through my locked front door. Finally all done, I open up and I come and in come my friends. In they come in such a hung, do they want my bottles that much? I frantically pull them from the shelf one after the other, holding them out to each and every friend. Each and every bottle, but every time I let one go, it shatters against the tile between my feet. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts in shards all over the floor. They were supposed to be for my friends, my friends who aren't smiling. They're all shouting, pleading, something. But all I hear is echo, 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 echo inside my head. Okay, that's darker. Holy crap. Jerry, did you really write this? Of course I did. Didn't I tell you yesterday I was going, gonna write the best poem ever? Yeah, but... I mean, I didn't expect something like this coming from you. Monica taught me a whole lot. Been really in touch with my feelings recently. I see that. It's almost kind of creepy. Creepy? Well, not exactly. <laughs> Maybe because it's I'm so used to you being cheerful. Well, never mind. I'm thinking too hard about it. The point is, it came out good, you sh so you should be proud of it. Ah, oh, thanks. I feel like I feel like I was meant to express myself this way. It even. God damn it. Ah. Never mind that. Uh, my cat loves jumping up and grabbing onto me, so I got scratches down my arm. Uh, don't feel too great. Uh, it even helps me understand my own feelings a little bit more better. Writing is like magic. You've got a pretty passionate about this, huh? I hope you keep it up. Yeah. Writing's the best. I'm gonna keep writing until I die. Ha uh, 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 don't get ahead of yourself. Terry always had a habit of getting obsessed with something before dropping it to no more than a week later. Wonder if this is one of those, those times. But seeing the passion in her eyes make it hard for me to be pessimistic. <sighs> hmm? Well, it's not really any worse than your last one, but I can't really say it's any better either. Phew. Huh? Phew? What? Ah, uh, well, anything that isn't a train wreck, I'll take it as a win. And I get the feeling that you're probably the most critical. Hey, what makes you... Wait, maybe that was a compliment. Ah ha ha, glad to see someone recognizes my experience. Well then, keep practicing and make your. Maybe you'll. You will be as good as me someday. That's uh. Something tells me Natsuki, Natsuki completely missed the point. Come to think of it, this kind of reminds me of Suri's poem from yesterday. Eh? You think so? Yeah. Well, I guess if you're you have been friends with her for so long, you might be on the same wavelength, but you never really stuck, struck me as her type. Sorry has a type all of a sudden? Well, I don't know, but honestly, how can someone 
so uh, fluffy fluffy spends so much time with someone like you it's it's like she's dragging around a dead weight uh, that was a little unnecessary but think of it this way if it weren't for me she would probably just fly away like letting go of a balloon you could say we each take care of each other in our own way whatever it is I don't get it oh yeah I guess I'm supposed to show you my poem here Amy likes spiders you know what I heard about Amy Amy likes spiders icky wiggly hairy ugly spiders that's why I'm I'm not friends with her. Amy has a cute singing voice. I heard her sing my favorite. Okay, ten minutes only. Sing my favorite love song. Every time the she sang the uh, chorus, my heart would pound to the rhythm of the words. But she likes spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. One time I hurt my leg really bad. Amy helped me up. And took me to the nurse. I try not to let her touch me. She likes spiders, so her hands are probably gross. That's why I'm not friends with her. Amy has a lot of friends. I always see her talking to people. She probably talks about spiders. What if her friends start to like spiders too? That's why I'm not friends with her. It doesn't matter if she has other hobbies. It doesn't matter if she keeps it private. It doesn't matter if it doesn't hurt anyone. It's gross, she's gross, the world is better off without spider lovers. And I'm gonna tell everyone. Come on. I hate this poem. I don't like that judging type thing. Not bad, right? It's quite a bit longer than yesterday's. Yesterday's was way too short. I was just warming up. I hope you didn't think that was the best I could do. No, of course not. Anyway, the message is pretty straightforward in this poem. I doubt I have to explain it. <laughs> Sometimes you can explain complicated issues with much simpler analogies. And it helps people realize how stupid they are being. Like anyone who... Anyone would agree that the subject of this poem is... Uh, no, uh, ignorant jerk do you know people like that of course it's about how everyone thinks my that doesn't matter it can be about everything I write it to be easy to relate to everyone has some kind of weird hobby or a guilty pleasure sometime something that you are afraid if people find out they had make fun of you or think less of you but that just makes people stupid who cares what someone likes as long as they are not hurting anyone and it makes them happy I think people really need to learn to respect others for liking weird things well you're definitely right at least I can relate to that and I'm sure a lot of other people can too it's what I do best, after all. I don't like writing useless unless there's a good message to take away from it. Like conveying emotions is important. But I want to make people think, not just feel. Remember, remember that? I'm gonna write a good one for tomorrow, too. So look forward to it. Monica. Hi again, Deacon. How's the writing going? Alright, I guess. I'll take that. As long as it's not going bad. I'm happy that you are you have are applying yourself. Maybe soon you'll come up with a masterpiece. Uh, uh, wouldn't count on that. You never know. Want to share what you wrote for today? Sure, here you go. Give my poem to Monica. Hmm. Alright. It's pretty good. Makes me think of Surrey, like the other one that you wrote. You two are like the dy dynam dynamite duo. Dynamite. 
dynamic, dynamic duo. Di not dynamite. Dyna dynamic duo. You like the dynamic duo. Aha, that's kind of exaggerating it. Exaggerating it. Yeah, probably. But you do spend a lot of time with her, even in this club, don't you? Then again, I don't blame you for being a little shy. I'm not shy, it's just... Ah, ha, ha, I'm just teasing. I know it takes a bit of time to make friends with everyone, but Yuri and Natsuki are super interesting people, so don't be afraid to give them their share of time. And you can talk to me every now and then too. I'm not like unapproachable or anything, I am I? Oh no, it's nothing like that. I'm just still getting used to being here, that's all. Yeah, sorry if I was putting some pressure on you or something. I really didn't mean it like that. No, don't worry. I get what you're saying. Well, all right. But anyway, you want to read my poem now? like the way this one turned out, so I hope you do too. All right, let's take a look. Save me. The colors, they won't stop. Bright, beautiful colors. Flashing, expanding, piercing. Red, green, blue. And endless... Circophany of meanless noise. Red, green, and blue. Wasn't that something... I'm trying to think of artists, uh, because I took some art classes back in college. Uh, red, green, blue, isn't it? No, if I go for computer, uh, when I went to some, I went to computer classes and art classes. Red, green, and blue, aren't those the three colors that make up, like, a screen? Those are three primary colors to make up a screen, like, any screen that you're looking at right now. Ain't those the three colors that make up the, or is that? Red, green, yellow. Red, green, purple? It's some three colors. I think it's those three colors. Because I know red, blue, yellow is the three primary colors, and that's a different reason I know that. But, I mean, I'm, I'm sidetracking. Just seeing those three colors together kind of make me think of some noise. It won't stop. Violent. Granting waveforms. Squeaking. Screeching, piercing, sine, cosine, tangent, like playing a chalkboard on a turntable, like playing a viola on a pizza pizza crust, an endless poem of me meaningless. Load me. What endless poem of meaningless? Load me. It's even more abstract than your last one, huh? Ha ha ha. Guess it's just the way I write. I'm sorry if you don't like it. No, I never said that. It's just a kind of thing I never really seen before, I guess. It's kind of like playing with my space of, pa of the paper. Choosing where and how to space your words can totally change the mood of the poem. It's almost like magic. The way I wrote the the lines really show short sort sort of makes it feel like they are trying to speak over the noise I see it's so hard for me to tell what I'm, it's about though <laughs> sometimes asking what a poem is about isn't the right question a poem can be abstract as a physical expression of feeling or a conversation with readers so I put it that way. Not every poem is about something. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes you'll... When that happens, don't... I clicked too fast, I didn't even see what that said. When that happens, don't forget to save your game. You never know when you might change your mind. Or when something unexpected may happen. I'm saving right now. Wait, is that tip even about writing? What? Am I? 
am I even talking about? Ah, ha, ha. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. That's very weird, but whatever. Now is it my turn? Let's see how it compares to yesterday's. Hmm. I see. It's a bit different. I respect you for trying different things, Deacon. Were you inspired by Nasuki's poem? Or Sorori's, perhaps? Well, I guess you could say that. I thought so. I'm happy for you. You don't need to find inspiration in my poems. Don't say that. I write them for myself. I see you. Not for anyone else. That's very sad, but... So I don't really need for people to like them or anything. Jury, Eh. Sorry for being blunt, but you are overthinking this a little. Just because our styles are different doesn't mean I dislike your poems. In fact, I, if I tried to do something in your style, I would probably just do a terrible job. I see. I'm sorry. Just my stupid mind that likes to do that sometimes. Anyway, you don't need to be afraid to do a little more daring. Metaphors can go a long way. Don't feel like you need to work your brain like turn uh, turning a bunch of gears. Try letting your mind wander through your feelings. Write down the things you see and hear. That's one way to truly enable your reader to see into your mind. It's a very intimate exercise, I see. That's a Cer cer certainly interesting technique. Thanks for sharing. I have, um, well, an example of that if you like to read it, of course. Is this the poem you wrote for today? Fury nods and timidly hands me her poem. Okay, we're finishing this poem and then I will be signing off the episode and recording part 7, The Raccoon. It happened in the dead of night while I was slicing bread for a guilty snack. My attention was car caught by the by the scuttering of a raccoon outside my window. That was, I believe, the first time I noticed my strange tendencies as an wandering. unordinary human I'm guessing that's the only thing that really makes sense with half those letters in there I give the raccoon the piece of bread my subconscious subconscious well aware of the consequences well aware that a raccoon that is fed will always come back for more the enticing beauty of my cut and knife knife was this symptom Bread, the bread, my hungry curiosity, the raccoon, and urge. The moon in, in increments, it fades and reflects that much more light off of my cut and knife. In the very same light that glistens in the eyes of my raccoon friend, I slice the bread fresh and soft, the raccoon becomes excited. Or perhaps it's merely projecting my emotions onto the nearly satisfied animal. animal. The raccoon has a token to follow me. You could say that we have gotten quite used to each other. The raccoon becomes hungry more and more frequently, so my bread is always hand handy. Every time I brand brandish my kind of knife, the raccoon shows me its excitement. I rush a rush of blood. Classic. Pavilionian conditioning. I slice the bread and I feel myself again. That's kind of darker at the end. Um, I was a little more daring with this one than yesterday's. I can see that it's a lot more metaphorical. I don't know if it's my fault, but I can't begin to imagine what this poem is about. That's right. It's a bit closer to my prefect preferred writing style. Using the poem as a canvas to express vividly imaginary and conveying emotions through them. Yeah, if you take it 
at face value, then I can't even figure out what it's supposed to mean. Yeah. Well, I think it's something that different people can relate to in their own way. I wanted to express the way it feels for me to indulge in my unusual habits. Is those sort of things I'm usually forced to keep to myself. So I sometimes enjoy writing about them. Huh? That's funny. Didn't Natsuki also write something like about that? About someone being reducted for a strange interest? Eh. She did? Yeah. She was talking about how it doesn't matter what you are into as long as you're not hurting anybody. She, she's right. I, uh, I mean, does she really feel that way? Yeah. Sounds like you two have that in common. That's, well, that's interesting. To me, she seems like the kind of person who would make fun of my hobbies. But I suppose that's my fault for judging, isn't it? Ah, uh, please don't tell her I said that. <laughs> don't worry, I have no reason to. Okay. Well, thank you for sharing it with me. After all, I, if I hadn't learned to embrace my own weirdness, I would probably hate myself. I might be ranting a little bit more bit now, but I'm glad that you're a good listener. Okay, so we're going to end this episode. We're at 26 minutes. This will probably be the longest episode I have on here. Sorry about that, but I want to try to get through all four poems. Otherwise, thank you guys for watching this video. If you like the video, give it a like. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, I recommend subscribing to the channel. This would probably be called like something Monica Weird weird tip of the day because it's very weird i don't know what's up with her uh because she doesn't match with the poems there's something wrong with her i don't know yet she doesn't match with the poem but we can still give the poem to her i have no idea why and then save the game and she's talking about stuff i think about the game so i don't know i she's a weird one otherwise i will see you guys next video have a good morning have have a good morning, afternoon, and good night. Wherever you are, just have a good day. And I will see you guys in part 7. Or a different video, maybe. So, uh, peace.